fans are making a lot of noise at AT&T Stadium. Anything that moves between these lines, got to get dealt with. They hand it to Pollard. He comes running out the right side. Deep to the post to Lamb. At the five to the goal line. Dallas Cowboys Game Night is presented by AT&T, the official 5G innovation partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. And by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full and condensed game replays from week one to the Super Bowl. Up until week eight of the NFL season, there had been a severe shortage of 40 burgers, but no longer for the Dallas Cowboys as they take down the Chicago Bears 49 to 29 at AT&T Stadium in week number eight. They improved to six and two and head into the bye week on a good note. Alongside the six time Pro Bowler and three time Super Bowl champ, Nate Newton, I'm Kyle Yeomans. Glad you're with us here on Cowboys game night, and it's another win for the Cowboys. They've now won six of their last seven matchups, and they get a week off after this one comes to a conclusion. They take care of business at home, and they did so behind the running game of Tony Pollard, 131 yards and a couple of touchdowns, three touchdowns to be exact for Tony Pollard. Yes, he was very efficient. I what 14 carries. I think he caught a couple of passes for uh, some big yardage. He man, this guy, he lit it up today. I want to, you know, hats off to Tony Pollard, Malik Davis in that offensive line. They set the tone. I worry about whether they be physical. They were more than enough and more than physical. Yeah, that offensive line paved the way. The Cowboys defense even got the job done on a couple of occasions. It got a little bit dicey in the middle, but Dallas looking to go back to back versus the NFC North. They wanted to establish the run early. They did just that. 11 plays, 75 yards on the opening drive of the ball game. Dak Prescott finds the end zone to score first, but that wasn't all in the first quarter for the Cowboys offense. Second drive, second score. C.D. Lamb finds the end zone 21 yards out. Dallas leads 14 to nothing. First drive of the second, though, for Chicago. They answered with Justin Fields. He is so elusive on the ground, and he weaves his way home for a touchdown, but he's not the only quarterback that can run the rock 25 yards here for Dak Prescott it gets into the 18 yard line next play Tony Pollard he rolls home finding his way for six and his first touchdown of the night I tell you what man he looked good today man I be at options there look at the offensive line getting out moving open the hole right there he shakes the guy oh man nice Tony Pollard had a great day and great move right there they scored on their first three drives of the ball game fourth drive same story this time play action leads to Jake Ferguson being open in the end zone Dallas celebrating they are feeling good up 28 to 7 but the Bears on offense starting to turn things around a little bit right well there's pressure Maybe an interception here for Trayvon Diggs. He comes up, makes the pick, but not so fast. Chauncey Golston called for the hands to the face and a roughing the passer penalty. This was an honest to goodness where he was just trying to bat the ball down, and he tried to stop himself, but the momentum took him into the quarterback. Come on, Ralph, don't call out. <laughs> it's a little unfortunate for Dallas because a couple plays later, the Bears find the end zone again to make it 28 to 14. A couple seconds left here in the half. Dallas wants to test it deep, but some greediness leads to an interception in the secondary. Dak Prescott throws it over the middle. It gets picked off. It's taken all the way back inside the 25 yard line and a field goal makes it 28 to 17 at the half. That momentum would continue into the third. Chicago cut the lead with this 12 yard Khalil Herbert touchdown run. That makes it a five point game in the third quarter. Dallas back up by 12 though because they rumble their way in with Tony Pollard. Seven plays, 75 yards, second touchdown for TP on the ground. Now Dallas trying to get a stop defensively. This play complete to David Montgomery. Montgomery, he fumbles the football. It's picked up by Micah Parsons down by contact, right? Wrong. He starts rumbling with a bevy of blockers all the way to the end zone. His first NFL touchdown, and this was a turning point in the ball game, an exclamation point for this Dallas defense. Man, our defense always make plays, and more importantly, that guy number 11. Look at him. He's running for the ball. I'm thinking he's down, but look at here. The quarterback leaps over this guy. Nice high jump. 
He gets up, everybody grabbing him. Come on, let's go to the end zone. Let's go. He made it. <laughs> Ended up being a party in the end zone. Dallas would give up a touchdown, but they got another one back. Tony Pollard looks like he's going to be taken down for a tackle for loss. Not so fast. Pollard 54 yards to the house. His third of the day, and Dallas runs away with this one. 49-29 the final score from AT&T Stadium. Much improved on third down. 9 of 11 in late down scenarios. A fantastic number there for Mike McCarthy's Dallas Cowboys plus the 200 yards on the ground and there's a couple areas that need to be shored up you look up the the 240 yards on the ground the time of possession couple places for improvement but overall the Cowboys get the job done and they do it in a dominant format but we just talked about Tony Pollard three yard, or three touchdowns on the ground 131 yards we'll hear from him when we come back on the other side of the break more Cowboys game night coming your way following the 49 29 win This segment is brought to you by the Texas Lottery. If you have a lucky quarter, it could pay off big when you play the new Cowboys scratch ticket game from the Texas Lottery. What a performance it was for Tony Pollard on the ground today in his first start of the season. 147 total yards and three rushing touchdowns. Something that Ezekiel Elliott has never done in a game in his entire NFL career. Had three rushing touchdowns. Tony Pollard and his thoughts following the win. Way to start a game. Can you talk about your individual performance today? Um, yeah, I feel like we did a great job, you know, playing team ball. You know, it wasn't just about me or anybody else. You know, we did a great job playing team ball. Uh, they did a good job, you know, fighting in there at the end, but, you know, we did a good job finishing. Could you talk about the balance because you guys were throwing the ball and running the ball? Yeah, I mean, we it felt like we had pretty good success, you know, with running and throwing the ball today. So just... We wanted to keep the defense guessing, you know, just switch up the tempo, go fast, go slow, and just keep them on their toes. Can you describe your first touchdown run? Oh, man, it was a it was a good one. I for, which one was the first one? The 18 yards. 18. I'm trying to think about it. You got your choice. The first one or the second one, it don't even matter. It was a good day for touchdowns. I just know the last one was tough because I was, I was winded, but you got in there. And uh, can you talk about the defense as well? They had their hands full with Chicago's running game. Yeah, I mean, I feel like our defense did a good job battling. You know, um, other teams are going to make plays. You know, they did a good job of making plays, you know, the Bears. But, you know, we did a good job sticking in there, getting turnovers at the end, and, you know, just finishing. Everybody was going crazy in here. Was that because you guys got the next week off? Is that what the celebration was all about with the victories? Uh, a little bit of that and a little bit of early game, early finish. So, you know, you add it up. It's a lot of excitement. Congratulations, TP. Yes, sir. A little bit of today where you handling things? Um, I mean, I think that's for y'all to decide, but, you know, I'm going to continue to control what I can control, so. What's it like, the load that you got today? Because remember earlier in the week we were asking you about having a heavy workload, so what did you think of the load you got today? I mean, I think we did a good job, you know, with the roles we had today, Um, getting different backs in there, you know, keeping guys fresh, and, you know, getting carries, throwing the ball around when we needed to. I feel like we had a good game plan. Tony, how would you rate your performance considering you were coming into this game on the Texas starter? Uh, I would say we, I had a pretty good performance. Overall, you talk about the team. Uh, it was actually a very offensive game. Uh, overall, how would you describe the back and forth uh, of the game today? Uh, I would say it was big for offense. You know, we needed a game like this where we could show that, you know, when we get into the red zone, we can get seven instead of, you know, finishing with three and, you know, just just finishing with scores and points, you know, it added up at the end. Defense. Can you talk about going no huddle and up tempo early and, and often? Was that because they were coming off a short week and tired, or what is it? If it wasn't to do with them and their rest, what does it do for you guys? I mean, we just know um, it's hard enough playing this game, but you know, once you're winded, you know, you're not thinking the same, you're not communicating the same. So, you know, it's a it's a, a better chance of you know breaking a big play or you know breaking a play. So when you like to switch up the tempo, that's what we were thinking. Think that. Today, I think he was third and one, and he. Like uh, I think he looked great today, you know, um, pulling a couple runs, you know, RPOs, using his feet, you know, had the first touchdown he ran in. That was big for us. I feel like he had a great game today, pushing it up. I know you said it's up to us. So there you go, Tony Pollard leading the way with 200 rushing yards total on the ground. 131 of those belong to number 20 in the backfield with Tony Pollard with the three touchdowns as well. Three out of the six total for that Cowboys offense. As I welcome you back in here to Cowboys game night with Nate Newton. And 
Nate, the ground game has always been what goes first for this offense. It's the run to set up the pass today that finally came in, uh, came into the picture a little bit more clearly. How did you really rate the way that they ran the football? Oh man, I got to give them an A. I mean, they 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 never went away from it. When we needed the short yardage, it happened. When we needed to settle back down after coming out. Uh, the second half and, and what uh, Chicago did is going, we continue to stay running. We settled Dak now, and Dak had a perfect game. I mean, that one boo-boo, but that, it kept Dak uh, settled in, and it got Malik Davis going. It was, just not, it was just nice to have it. I promise you, it's always nice when you can be physical up front. It was physical up front. The offensive line played well. They worked down the field. They established the run early, and then, of course, late they ran away with it because of the ground game and just how efficient it was. When we come back here on Cowboys game night, we hear from Demarcus Lawrence and a defense that struggled in stopping the run, but definitely limited the Bears passing attack throughout their 49-29 win over Chicago. This segment was brought to you by the Texas Lottery. If you have a lucky quarter, it could pay off big when you play the new Cowboys scratch ticket game from the Texas Lottery. Welcome back into Cowboys game night. Demarcus Lawrence with one of the four sacks for the Dallas defense today. They did give up some rushing yards on the ground, but overall the Cowboys defense really limiting what they could do through the air for the Bears offense. Here he's, here's what he had to say after the game. There was a stretch there in the middle of the game right around halftime where they were obviously able to get back into it a little bit. How important was it that you guys were able to respond? What did you guys do to be able to find that response? Yeah, um, you know, we just locked back in on our details. Um, you know, felt like, you know, we was up by 20 points, so in our mind, you know, we clicked from run to pass, so they didn't click, you know what I mean? So they kept running the ball, and uh, we had to just make our adjustments and uh, get back to playing uh, four-down football. That was something Mike actually just mentioned. He said the part of the issue maybe with the run defense for you guys was that you were expecting passes in a lot of those circumstances, and they kind of surprised you guys with the run. How important is that aspect of why they were able to run through the forces? Um, you know, just locking in on our keys, uh, you know, identifying our plays, you know, being able to, Get up field and, and stop the run. Uh, I mean, I don't feel like you know that was anything special. It's just all about us, you know, being able to lock in and, and read our runs. Jake, you guys have done a lot of great things through eight games. How much better can this defense get? Oh man, we can get a whole lot better. Uh, you know, the ball was alive today. Uh, I feel like we could have had more turnovers, uh, but it, you know, it, it's something that we can you know hone in on and you know try to pursue and get better in over the bye week. What frustrates you the most? What frustrates me the most, that I missed two sacks today. That's what frustrates me. <laughs> what, what, what kind of challenge is for you? I, mean, the, I imagine some of that is, is him really speaking. Yeah, the challenge is done. Fair enough. <laughs> do you think that helps you going forward? <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, you know, each and every week we try to get better, you know, especially in our job category. So, you know, uh, I feel like, you know, he exposed some areas where I can get better at. And I'm um, glad he did. So now I know. And if anybody else try to try it, we'll see what happens. You look at this team as a whole heading to the bye after eight games. Mm -hmm. What's your excitement level about what you guys can do? Oh, man. Um, sky's not the limit. Um, I feel like, you know, especially with our coaching staff, how our coaches take care of us and put us in the right position to make plays. Um, it's going to be a hell of a season, boys. Appreciate what, it. What would you say is number one? Number one focus, health, recovery. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta love that right out there at the end with DeMarcus Lawrence saying, yeah, that's the focus of the bye week. Get healthy, right. recover. It is a good time for the Cowboys defense to, to get a little bit of a rest. They had some guys banged up. J. Ron Kirst, Donovan Wilson, Malik Hooker wasn't available. Neither was Sam Williams. Even Micah Parsons was questionable. But they looked great out there outside of the run defense. How concerned are you in terms of stopping the run moving forward? You know what, uh, Kyle, every week you hear me say, I'm tired of our defense playing 32, 33 minutes. We need to get that around 30 because if that defense, it, when you're on the field, it may not seem like long, but that's long when the team holds the ball 32 minutes or 35 minutes on you. That takes a lot out of you physically. That takes a lot out of you mentally because you always got to save the offense. You always got to be that Band-Aid. And so we need to be more concerned on getting these guys rest, getting these guys have – they better got a crowd chain over there, put everybody in there at one time <laughs> and just let them sit there and talk and relax because they need to get rested.
They do give up over 200 yards on the ground. This is a number one rushing attack in the NFL. You knew Chicago was going to enter this game and try and establish the ground game. They did just that. Luckily for the Cowboys, they jumped out to that 28 to 7 lead. Chicago made it close, right. but whenever they needed an answer, the defense had one. So did the offense, and that's how the Cowboys come out on top, 49-29. to But when we come back, we talk about the passing game a little bit. Second game back for Dak Prescott. How did C.D. Lamb fare against the Bears defense when we come back with more Cowboys game night? C.D. Lamb found his way back into the end zone as the Cowboys get back into the win column, their sixth win of the season. Let's hear what 88 had to say after the game. Most definitely felt good to put points on the board, but, uh, you know, we felt like, you know, we left out a couple out there, of course, but, I mean, 49 points, you can't really have a problem with that. Uh, felt surreal almost, you know, uh, felt like we were where we needed to be uh, as a collective group and as a unit. Uh, we were clicking, executing, and I mean, once you do that and then you put all the pieces together and everybody working together, all 11 together, and that's what it looks like. So, I don't, I'm an athlete. <laughs> I'm an athlete. It didn't surprise, once again, it didn't surprise me a bit just understanding that he knew he had a bigger role in this game and understanding that he was going to tote the load or have a lot more carries than, you know, normal. And, uh, I mean, he hit it at the ballpark. You knew, you knew you guys were capable of putting up points Facts. like this. Is there a feeling of relief, though, to actually do it? Yeah, it was. Um, just understanding, like, just seeing different people in the end zone, touch the end zone, smiles everywhere, celebrations. I mean... It don't get no better than that as a unit and as a team. You build a bond throughout the process and just keep winning. How close are you guys to being where you want to be heading into the basketball? Uh That was a great start, um, honestly. And I feel like as a unit, we're, we're, we're taking steps forward. We're almost right where we need to be. <laughs> Most definitely build the confidence for sure. But, uh, uh, you just got to cherish this moment. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy the locker room. Enjoy the teammates. And while we, while we catch the dub, just soak it all in. Um, we got another week to recover, rest, recover. And then we back at it the following week. The defense has carried the weight a lot, of, a lot of the game so far this year. How did it feel for you guys to kind of pull the weight a lot in this game? It felt, it felt needed. You know, uh, the defense had our back, you know, up until this point. And um, obviously at, at every... They're not going to stop every offense, you know, to 17 points, which we would love. Don't get me wrong. We would love that. But, I mean, the reality of it, you know. So just being able to have each other's back as a unit and as a, as a team, I mean, it builds confidence. How about Dak getting out there? The confidence starting to build more and more, as you hear there from C.D. Lamb on that offensive side of the football. Second game back for Dak Prescott. He finished with 250 yards passing, two touchdowns through the air, one on the ground as well. When we come back on Cowboys game night, we tie a bow on the Cowboys 49-29 win over the Bears and look ahead to the bye week right after this. Dallas Cowboys game night was presented by AT&T the official 5G innovation partner of the Dallas Cowboys, Reliant, an NRG company, and by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full and condensed game replays from week one to the Super Bowl. 20-point win for the Dallas Cowboys going into the bye week. Back here with Nate Newton. What do they need to work on heading into the bye week to try and continue to improve upon their six wins? Defensively stop the run. Offensive line, clean up your, your, your games, and you should be okay. That's a big way to get it yes. done. They did give up 200 yards on the ground, but they had 200 of their own on the ground today, and the Cowboys get the win 49-29 over the Chicago Bears. Next up. It's the return to Lambeau Field for one head coach, Mike McCarthy, his first time back at his old stomping grounds. The Cowboys certainly going to be motivated for that one. For Nate Newton, I'm Kyle Yeomans and our entire Dallas Cowboys crew. Thanks for joining us on Cowboys Game Night. We'll see you in a couple weeks.